Hello, this is John from Iverson Automotive, and today we're going to be talking about a grill we restored a few years back from a 1956 DeSoto. So here's the grill. Uh, unfortunately, I only have a couple pictures of, of this grill when it was finished. I don't have any before pictures, but uh, we can kind of still talk about it. So, But this is, uh, I think, a really unique grill, one-off, one-year grill. Um, very, very cool grill, and it kind of... Uh, What's neat about this grill, it has every every aspect of restoration that we do. So the silver surrounds that you see that kind of surround the whole grill, those are stainless. The interior gold mesh is actually gold anodized, and then that V is silver anodized. And then also the, the light surrounds on the both sides are chrome plated. And those are the three aspects of, of restoration that we do, stainless, aluminum, and pop metal replating and also re-anodizing. So here's the only other photo that I have of this grill. This was back before Instagram and I was posting on there, so didn't take a lot of photos. But we pretty much restored this grill so we would have kind of a, a center display piece for the car shows that we'd go to every summer. And we thought this would be a, kind of an, a catchy, catchy display piece. And then right in front, actually, you can see the gold hubcaps, which are actually unique to the 56 DeSoto Pace car, which I have a couple pictures of. And kind of what's unique about this grill is actually we kind of flipped it around the way that it normally is. Usually the middle gold insert that we do, that we did, is actually typically silver. And then the V is usually gold. But on the Pace car, it's actually the other way around. And the Pace car has those unique gold anodized hubcaps. And here's a picture of that Pace car. So you can see the gold hubcaps. And then you can also see the, the same grill with the gold mesh and the silver V. Like I said, usually, usually the, most of these cars, the 56 DeSoto, will have it the other way around. And the hardest part of restoring this grill uh, was actually putting it back together. Everything, you know, on it, the stainless, the aluminum, the chrome plating, you know, that's the stuff we do all the time. And that stuff was pretty straightforward. We just, uh, you know, took it apart. And then all the pieces, just you know, you just, we just did them individually. But putting this thing back together uh, was probably one of the more frustrating things I've ever had to do in my in my career as a rest as restoring trim but as you can see in the back there was a lot of little components a lot of clips and each thing had to be taken off and each clip was kept we did get eventually get new bolts all these black panels all these had to be stripped and then we repainted them but yes putting this thing back together was you know worse than putting ikea furniture back together you know and it was just everything had to be perfectly in place each clip had to be perfectly in place and uh it was just it was uh, quite the frustrating day to put this thing back together but once we you know everything came back in place it was actually really solid and looked really really good so as you can see we did get everything put back together and restored and we actually used this piece for our displays at car shows for numerous years we did eventually sell this grill and the gold hubcaps you saw before to somebody so we don't have we no longer have this grill but if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you do have this car and you would like your, your grill restored to this quality, contact us at iversonautomotive.com. Otherwise, you can find us on Instagram under iversonautomotive.com. So thanks for watching and have a good day.